I feel very proud. I want to encourage other black athletes to take up swim, bike, run, and dream of becoming champions. مادر دقیقا معنای زن زندگی آزادی بود یعنی زنی بود که زندگی ساخت عشق داد در راه آزادی هم رفت وینی все одно хто ти чоловік або жінка коли ракета потрапляє в будинок а ракеті все одно чоловіки там жінки або діти помирають всі inspiring short films from the bbc watch now on iplayer At six, the government's told to act swiftly and compensate millions of women born in the 1950s who lost out in changes to their pensions. Campaigners say lives have been ruined with many women pushed into poverty because they weren't told in time about the rise in the state pension age. We're on the way to a future interest rate cut, says the Bank of England, but not yet as rates are held again at 5.25%. The UK sees the biggest rise in absolute poverty for 30 years due to the energy price crisis. How artificial intelligence is helping diagnose breast cancer cases that doctors would miss. And the largest gold nugget ever found in England and how it was unearthed. Coming up on Sports Day later in the hour on BBC News, who can stop England's Red Roses? They've named their team for the weekend as they prepare to start the defence of their Six Nations Grand Slam title. Good evening and welcome to the BBC News at six. Millions of women born in the 1950s who weren't properly informed about the rising pension age should be given compensation by the government. That's the recommendation from the Parliamentary Ombudsman, which has been looking at the impact of bringing women's retirement age in line with men's. The campaign group Women Against State Pension Inequality, or WASPI as they're known, say many have suffered financially because of the changes. The government doesn't have to act on the findings and so far has not committed to paying compensation. Here's our political editor, Chris Mason. 